Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Linear Algebra Tutor. We've uh, taken a tremendous journey up until this point in time in our Linear Algebra studies. Now we're going to talk about something that's absolutely central to all topics that you'll find in any Linear Algebra course. That's called the inverse of a matrix. In this lesson we're going to concentrate on finding the inverse of the 2 by 2 matrix because it's very easy to do and I can illustrate a lot of the properties of inverses to you very easily. But in the next section we'll learn uh, a different way to calculate the inverse of a matrix uh, that you can apply to any size matrix. And so we'll get to that later. But here we're going to focus on 2 by 2 matrices. First of all, what is an inverse of a matrix? I could just jump right into it, but I'd like to uh, draw an analogy back from algebra. Remember back from algebra, you might know how to solve 3x is equal to 9. How do you do that? Well, we all know you divide the left hand by 3 and the right hand by 3. But really what you're doing, instead of thinking of it as division, think of it as we're multiplying the left by 1 third, and we're multiplying the right also by 1 third. Wouldn't you agree that this is basically what we're doing? And so on the left-hand side, what, what's happening on the left-hand side is the one-third is kind of canceling, so to speak, giving you a one on the left-hand side in front of the x. Uh, and on the right-hand side, we're just left with what we get. So x is equal to three. That's something that you have been using over and over and over again in algebra for a long, long time. But what you may not realize is that the number one-third we say is the multiplicative inverse of the number three. So if you're given a number, you can find the inverse of that number, uh, which in this case is just one over the number, such that when you multiply them together, you just get the number one. That's the definition of an inverse in general. So for instance, what I'm doing here, I take the number three and I multiply it by one-third and I get the number one. So this we say is just a number. And this is what we call the inverse of this number. And the definition of the inverse of a number is it's whatever number is such that multiply it by the original number and you get a 1. So that's kind of what the concept of an inverse is when, in terms of numbers. Now we want to extend this concept to linear algebra to matrices because we want to figure out how to calculate the inverse of a matrix. I'll explain the application of that a little bit later, but first let's concentrate on just calculating or figuring out what it would be. So ultimately what we want to do for matrices is if we're given a matrix A, we want to figure out what matrix can we multiply it by. We'll denote it by a negative one, that means inverse, to give us, well obviously it's not going to give us a number one, it's going to give us an identity matrix. Remember we talked about an identity matrix. So this guy is just some matrix. This guy is the inverse of this matrix, and this guy is an identity 